So I'm on holiday here in the Philippines at the moment, hence the absolutely stunning weather and the tropical landscape that you can see from this. And I've often said to people that, as I boast I'm a digital nomad, that I can work from anywhere in the world, providing I am not separated from my carry-on. Now my carry-on of choice for the last couple of months has been this GoPro Seeker backpack. I think they're called the GoPro Seeker backpack. Um, it's not a very big backpack and lots of people, lots of reviews that I read online said, oh, it hasn't got enough space for everything that I need. And I dispute that um, because I'm going to do a what's in the bag unpacking video and show you just how much I put in it. Now, I quite like this backpack because I can attach my GoPro to it right here. It has a dedicated clip and your GoPro can attach just quickly onto it in order for you to be able to take some uh, walkthrough, situational video, that kind of a thing, quite unobtrusively um, without anybody really noticing that you're waving a camera around on a selfie pole or anything like that. I have the GoPro Hero 6 Black and the backpack itself is incredibly comfortable um, to wear. I've worn it for days at a time. Nice cushioned back over here, good ventilation and it has at the back of it a hydration pocket where you can put in a hydration bladder. I'll show you in a second that at the moment in this current packing configuration I'm not using it for a hydration bladder. I've actually got my laptop packed in there. So very small, fairly small, very compact, way within any airline's carry-on limit. Um, but in order to uh, not hold the camera and be very shaky, I'm just taking this video on my phone at the moment. Um, I'm going to set up my tripod and put the phone on a clamp on the tripod uh, that's just going to make it a little bit um, hopefully make the uh, video make a little bit more sense that's my tripod by the way very very light fantastically uh, compact tripod um, from Siru um, absolutely phenomenal goes with me everywhere but of course to attach the phone to the tripod I need a clamp attachment so here's the first thing that's actually in the bag we'll start with that and it's this right from Aylin um, it has a tripod screw mount on the bottom uh, it has a you loosen the thumb screw and you can rotate this through 360 degrees and you can mount your camera, to your phone, to any tripod with a tripod screw. Um, I'll show later on. I also have another attachment that allows me to attach this gizmo into any of my GoPro mounts and clamps. And you'll see that I carry numerous ways of attaching the GoPro with me as well um, while I'm on a trip. So you always got to be capturing media for uh, social media, etc., etc. So important to be able to do that. Um, but let's get this thing on the tripod and let's get this show started. I'm a little bit warm at the moment. Uh, it's a beautifully sunny day, even though it's early in the morning over here in the Philippines. Palawan, El Nido is where I am at the moment. Uh, so I'm going to run through this fairly quickly uh, so that I can go and jump in the pool. Right. Right, so obviously the first thing that was on the bag, in the bag, was my GoPro Hero 6 black. So let's uh, just put that down to the one side so we can then see what else we've got in here. Starting with the top pocket. Right, it's uh, got a compartmentalized top pocket over here that uh, allows you to configure it however you want to uh, because I am no longer shooting with a 35mm I keep a little compact 
point-and-click camera up here. It's a Panasonic Lumix TZ70, and I shoot with that uh, just to be able to give me a decent zoom. Uh, it's got very good HD video. It saves me cluttering up my phone, and when I'm at conferences and events and things like that, it's a lot easier to get closer to things with this than it is with the phone. Uh, so that's become my shooter of preference for now. I keep on debating Micro Four Thirds. I think I might spring for Micro Four Thirds in a bit, but for now, it's the Panasonic Lumix takes top spot in the top here where it's quick access and I can get to it very, very easily. Other things that are in the top here so I can get to them easily, my spare batteries for my GoPro. Uh, battery charger, dual battery charger, never ever go out with us without two fully charged batteries first thing in the morning, plus the one in the GoPro, so three batteries to begin with. Depending on what I'm doing, that will normally last me the day. Um, was scuba diving recently, and each dive duration of an hour, the battery was lasting, was about... 55 to 60 percent used up by the end of the dive uh, so i would just change batteries in between each scuba dive next thing in here um ah, it's this is a bluetooth remote control shutter release for my uh, phone for my iphone it can work with both iphone and android i remember the make of this uh let's see if it says it on here uh, camkicks.com I'm not sure if that is the actual make itself I got it off Amazon uh, yeah it says cam kicks on the back here if anybody's interested shout out to me and I'll find a link to stick it in I'm not an Amazon affiliate or anything so don't earn any money off this this is just purely informational basis but uh, that's very useful when you're trying to take uh, selfies do videos like this that kind of thing the remote shutter release for the phone um, and remote shutter release for the GoPro. That's, I usually clip with the Carabana onto a uh, backpack, uh, onto uh, my belt strap, onto my jeans, something like that. Uh, if I'm using the, uh, the GoPro shoulder mounted, because again, it's less obtrusive. Um, yes, the Hero 6 is voice activated and I keep it in default and voice activated mode. But, you know, if you're work, walking into a centuries-old church or something like that, then you can't really uh, start giving the GoPro commands out loud, much less obtrusive just to whack the little uh, remote control and uh, discreetly start recording. Uh, what else have I got on the top here? I have a spanner to be able to do those... Uh, uh, undo those screws the GoPro screws when they get a little bit tight and uh, sealed up from maybe um, salt water or things like that uh, the pouch for my Rode microphone which is what I've got plugged in at the moment just to give better sound quality for this video on my phone I love uh, this mic it just increases the sound quality uh, uh, immeasurably uh, over the standard smartphone microphone and particularly it cuts out background noise and things like this so worthwhile investing in if you're blogging webcasting whatever or if you're just doing stuff like this uh, what else have I got on the top here I have got uh, that's just another ring to be able to mount something we'll leave that back in there oh yes and my SD card adapter GoPro going into the laptop so that's it for the top pocket and actually as you can see i've already got an array of stuff laid out here and that's just the little top pocket of this backpack so let's move on i had said earlier that this backpack has a hydration pocket built into the back here where you can actually take the hydration hose out the top thread it through there however uh, i I'm not currently using this with a hydration bladder because I needed to bring my laptop on this trip and I, well, I generally bring my laptop on every trip. So when I'm using it as a carry-on, then that pocket is for my Mac. Now this is a 2013 MacBook Pro 15 inch. So it's a bit of a beastie, 
but it fits very, very comfortably in that back pocket. Quite, it's uh, a little bit thin around the edges. You wouldn't want to go knocking it directly on the edges because this is not the actual laptop pocket. Uh, GoPro recommend that you use the internal pocket to put your laptop in. The only problem is then that when you're going through airport security or something, it can be a bit of a faff getting it out there. So I generally, while I'm in transit, I leave the backpack in the hydration uh, pocket. And then if I'm going to be doing any extreme sports, uh, uh, riding a BMX or a... Uh, um, uh, going off-roading or kayaking or something like that. I'll take my hydration baggage, uh, my hydration bladder in my hold baggage, and then I'll just slip it in there and leave the laptop behind. But in a normal configuration, that's the laptop goes in that back pocket. So now we get into the main pocket area, and this is quite capacious, I believe. Um, it can hold quite a lot of stuff. I'm packed very untidily at the moment and uh, I've normally got space for a lightweight jacket, uh, um, a change of clothes even, something like that. Um, but on this trip, because it was warm, I didn't need the jacket, I didn't need the change of clothes. So I'll show you specifically the things that I've got packed in here. Right. So because I was scuba diving, I have the GoPro scuba suit, super suit I think it's called. Um, and I have a sidekick uh, light. This is both a flood and a spot uh, light. Um, this has got dual lights. Uh, you'll be able to see dual. It's got different intensities of bright and um, uh, spot capability. Uh, it's That's a very, very compact, very, very nice setup if you're going scuba diving or you or going underwater and you need decent light. Um, handy tip, you don't only have to use this underwater, you can use the light in any condition. If you can, uh, it mounts, uh, side mount, um, or you can get a flexible arm to mount it with, and you can use it for any continuous lighting situation. It can be used as a handy video light or anything like that. Very nice little gizmo. This lasts a long time on a single charge. Good hour or two. Um, I think I used it for uh, close on a 40 minute constant burn underwater and I still had enough uh, enough juice in it for another couple of dives. I never actually have depleted it during a dive. Um, anyway, so that's uh, now of course when I'm diving um, that is attached to my little um, floaty. So I'm on my GoPro floaty stick. Not that it's positively buoyant with this everybody. Um, with the sidekick uh, light on the top, this is not positively buoyant. It, it, it does still sink, but it does just make it handy when you are scuba diving to be able to hold it a lot easier. I'm probably going to be investing in a dual handed rig at some point and uh, maybe another one of the sidekicks just to give some extra wide lighting. Time will tell, but this worked fantastically on this trip, just like this. So while we're on the subject of uh, sticks and mounts, this here by Sane Top is a fraction of the price of the GoPro version and it's a nice, solid, tough and flexible mount. GoPro attachment at the top there. Very strong clamp jaw at the bottom over here can pretty much put it on anything motorbike handlebar bicycle handlebar uh, anything like that and simply snap your GoPro onto the top and bang did say earlier on that I had some tips um, for how to attach my camera or my smartphone to pretty much everything and this is it this is, believe it or not, an attachment from Sony for the Sony action cams. And if you recognize, it slots into any GoPro uh, mount, which then gives you a... Let's see if I've got a GoPro mount in here somewhere. I should have... 
Uh, let's see. Well, I'm sure I'll find one in a second. Actually, let me just pull everything out over here. There we go. GoPro mount. Right. So, GoPro mount. Shall I say Sony mount into GoPro mount. Suddenly now, I've got a very flexible uh, tripod mount capability on any GoPro mount that can attach to any of these things very quickly. That means that I can either have my smart phone clamp or my camera fits directly onto that and can be interchangeably used with any of these. I often actually use that as a selfie stick over this if it's above water because I can use this as a selfie stick or uh, attach it to something. Attach it to a cable while we're having a discussion, an interview, something like that, uh, mounted unobtrusively in a weird spot. And it's really, really handy little bit of kit that. Um, so highly recommended. As I say, same top, a fraction of the price of uh, GoPro's original stuff. Uh, I dug in there and pulled out a whole lot of cables. Unfortunately, that's just the reality of today's world is you need charging cables for everything. There is a proprietary charging cable for the GoPro remote. There is also a proprietary charging cable for the Sidekick light. And then of course, there's the standard uh, GoPro charging cables for the uh, GoPro itself for the battery packs. And that's a proprietary charging cable once again for my Panasonic uh, point and shoot camera. So where the hang do I plug all these things in to charge them? Well, funny you should ask that because as the next thing that I'm very fond of, Zendure. Zendure make this fantastic uh, international plug that fits worldwide, fits blimming everything and has four USB charging capability straight off it. I can't remember the wattage. You can look up on Zendure to see how many watts it is. I generally only end up charging things overnight anyway, but that that's all that you need really that packed into your carry-on with all of your cables and yeah so far you can see how my office moves with me and I've got everything that I want of course if you can't find a PowerPoint Zenger once again um, I've got one of these which is my Zenger battery pack um, that little baby can charge that can charge an iPhone 10 four times I think um, dual USB so you can uh, charge your own kit and that of a friend or in my case I often have to recharge GoPro uh, or the GoPro um, uh, shutter release during the day as well as my phone at the same time and that works um, cables in there I've got my phone cable and the Zenger charging cable Keep those two together because if I need to top up oh and the Zenger has got pass-through charging so you can charge up the battery pack at the same time as charging a phone or anything like that uh, what else have I got in here ah, sunglasses Oakley's um, don't go don't leave home without a decent set of sunglasses of course my um, charger for my laptop that's in there uh, water swell water bottle oh i love cold water i hate warm tepid water um, double insulated double wall insulated if i'm not using a hydration bladder for action stuff this goes with me everywhere through airports go through security empty fill it up the other side nice cold water that is only 500 mils but this is absolutely i will not leave home without my swell water bottle um, very very useful uh, what else have I got in here? Uh, waterproof wallet, carry some of my scuba diving credentials, um, some, uh, what are those, tethers, stop my, uh, I can secure the GoPro onto various things. Uh, I've got some more GoPro mounts tucked in this top pocket as well. A couple more various GoPro mounts. 
uh, tucked in there. Uh, final things in the main pocket. Um, ah, I have a leash. Uh, the leash is a general purpose leash because uh, it depends on what it is that I'm wanting, if it's the camera itself or um, what I'm wanting to leash it to, but that comes in handy just as an extra safety step. Uh, and then this might surprise some of you, but not the more seasoned travelers. Um, this is one of those things that people normally use to keep their cigarettes dry or safe. Um, I use it for keeping toilet paper dry because uh, I prefer the comforts of using toilet paper and some places where you go don't have toilet paper in the toilets. So um, that goes with me in my backpack as well in my carry-on and uh, we've covered everything on the inside. The last pocket is just the little pocket on the outside which has just got things like business cards and uh, some chewing gum, some pens and a decent flashlight. Uh, this is a mag light, um, really really strong powerful little little torch, um, always comes in handy, lighting things for shooting and also just uh, shooting as in video shooting by the way, um, just uh, very very handy. Uh, always got it with me and then of course um, always got to have the business cards huh carry your business cards wherever you go you can uh, show everybody what you do if necessary uh, do some business along the way um, I always try and do some business along the way because uh, well that's the very nature of what I do I'm remote I'm a digital nomad and uh, there you have it everything that you see on there all packs into this very small very lightweight little backpack and so long as I land with all of that I can work wherever I am in the world um, yes of course I'm gonna need some clothes but hopefully if I'm wearing some on the plane um, I land I've got this I can work ah that reminds me there is one more thing in here knew that Moleskine notebook always pen and paper even though I work in technology pen and paper is never far from me uh, because well some things just run out of battery sometimes and I like to think using pen and paper so there you have it that's the fully unpacked backpack uh, that's what's in the bag hope you found that useful